thirst after God. Isaiah 44 and verse 3 For I will pour out water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. God has created us with an appetite for him. And in all that God promises to us, he promises his abundance. Even in the outpouring of his Holy Spirit, God has promised us that he will not just give us a little bit of his spirit, but that he would pour out his spirit. And we all have our encounters with God. We, ha we all have our experiences with God. But to be settled in those experiences and be satisfied with those experiences will hinder us from receiving a greater outpouring of what God has for us. And therefore, we need to keep building on this appetite for God and be thirsty for God. As the scripture that I just read says that God wants to pour out his water on him who is thirsty. And isn't it eternal life for us to know Christ and keep knowing him more because there is so much more in God. And we like Moses, we can cry out to God and, and keep asking him uh, to show us more of his glory. Think about this. Moses had seen it all. Moses had experienced the glory of God uh, greater than any other human being. He had seen the miracles of God and yet he cried out to God and he said, God, I want more. I want more of your glory. I want more of your presence. And the yearning of our hearts, the, uh, the desire of our hearts, the thirst of our hearts towards God should always be that God, I want more of you. Thank you for what I have experienced in you so far. But Lord, I am thirsty. And it, it is when we are thirsty that God is able to pour out much more and satisfy us. And so this day, uh, this is our prayer that each one of us will be satisfied by none other than God himself. All that God has in store, the person of God, the, the, the Godhead will satisfy us and that we will not settle for anything less than that. So let's be thirsty for more of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that, God, there is so much more in you, God. Lord, that you are uh, the great God, uh, Lord, whose nature, Father God, we want to know more. And Father, we want to experience you, Lord, in all of your glory. And so this day, God, I pray that each one of us, God, Lord, will come to that place of thirsting after you, God, where we will settle for nothing else. But Lord, keep wanting more of you. Lord, cause that to happen in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.